Hey guys and welcome back to another unboxing. So today I'll be unboxing my final eBay purchase for the upcoming future. Um, so I did actually receive this uh, package a couple of days ago so I did actually open it and made sure that all the, all the contents were intact. Um, so the images, obviously it was intact by the images otherwise I wouldn't have purchased it obviously. So um, it was it was well wrapped. It was like a pass to parcel kind of deal where um, everyone where the music starts playing, everyone's in a circle, uh, and you start tearing each layer off when the music stops. So it's like that. It was really well wrapped. It actually even said fragile on the package. So the figure in question, if you haven't probably guessed already by the thumbnail, is this one here, uh, Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Um, so she it, well, it is still the third most expensive figure that I own. Um, I won't mention them, mention them here today because um, it will save be saved for my uh, future eBay haul, which I need to do because I, I obviously I did it my last eBay haul, final eBay haul uh, about last year, about like October last year. So I'm just go ahead and do an unboxing. So the box is in great condition. Um, as I said, it was well wrapped. As you can see, just got you know, a proper layer on top of here, one layer on here, as you can see. And she has a spare hand, very delicate hand, and a staff, which is the main, the main focus for me. Very nice, <coughs> very nice quality. Um, quite delicate, actually. You know, little thing there. And then she comes with a crystal, like a transparent crystal-like stand, um, which I haven't had before. I only own black ones and not white, you know, see-through white ones. And it just says Square Enix, uh, trademark of Square Enix Fun Fantasy. So you know it's you know official. Um, I don't know what um, you know what how new I don't well obviously this isn't a new one but so it's volume two I think uh, I think this is one of the the old old ones. Um, I expected her you know so here she is. So I expected her to be a bit taller. Um, that's the only real criticism I have. Uh, it's, so she's the same size as one of my other, my most expensive figure that I own, which I'll show in another haul. Um, yeah, she looks nice. She does look, actually look quite perfect, really. This, her little bow is solid plastic. Um, it would have been nice if it was, if parts of it can actually come out and you can fiddle with it a little bit. And everything's made of, of um, vinyl or PVC. And then the slit on the dress, um, at first I thought it was a little error, but it's not. And then her face is... Um, so originally I thought I had to take a closer look with my torch the other day. And I had a closer look and one of her eyes is green, which is a good sign. Um, I did actually want her face to be more... It would have been nice if her face was more, um, you know, spherical. No, no more circular like the image on the back. You know, just like Yuna is in real life. Well, not in real life, but on in the game. Uh, yeah, I did actually expect her to be a little bit big, and also I wanted her face to be more spherical. But I, but at the end of the day, she does actually look like, like an action figure. We could just hold her in a grasp like this, to go around, you know. And. She does actually look really delicate as well, which is, you know, one of the things um, you can get away with being this size. Uh, so yeah, she's got her, obviously, her kimono and her floral design and she looks very nice. She's probably one of the other uh, female protagonists I really love in Final Fantasy, other than Aerith. And yeah, she's very nice. So yeah, I'm just going to cut to her with her staff. So yeah, there she is holding a staff, just like you see, um, the first thing you see on a, on a far plane trying to send all the souls, um, 
you know what I mean. Fully poseable, like fully um, like ball joints, and she can fully bend her arms and her face. You can twist her face around, her elbow joints, and you can twist her waist just a little bit, just slightly, so you can just so you can manoeuvre her in a poseable position whenever you want. Um, there's no point bending her legs back because you know she's only going to stand like this so there's no point I know my other figures you can but there's no point in her because she just stands like this but um, if you notice she actually wears boots I thought she just wears like shoes which is quite strange I think but then in with geishas I don't think it is um, I don't think geishas yeah, they, they don't wear boots it's just like anime figures but they wear shoes so boots you can actually uh, twist her you know feet around it's like little joints there you can twist them up or down or sideways just so she stands nicely or position it whenever you position her whenever you like yeah she is beautiful I really do like her um, since scaling her I did play with her quite a bit just so I know how she is and another thing you can actually put her arms wide like this which I didn't actually see before my other figures because I, I was too delicate I didn't want to break them in any way so it's only like you know, months ago only a few months ago recently you can actually bend but my figures I think all of my figures arms outwards because I had, had little joints like this but then I know that in the recent figures like the recent Final Fantasy VII remake, they have big ball joints in the figures, which actually quite, which make them look quite butch, especially with Aerith. Um, I do like her, um, her, her new design, but it's just um, personally, I sort of prefer the one I have already, which I'm not going to show until the eBay haul, obviously. Yeah, I hope I'm showing her off nicely because she's very nice, so we love her. So yeah, that's Yuna. Um, she cost, uh, I think, 50, 50... Well, I actually won her at £52. Um, her starting bid was £20. And then I won her. I I was in competition with another person. So I won in the end, which was a relief because I really wanted her. And it would be a very fitting tribute to um, my my beige lion head rabbit, which I named, her, named Yuna after because she... Just like Jen, because um, you know Jen has sort of for me the personality of of Jen Tate from Primal, and same with Yuna. Uh, Yuna passed away a few years ago. I still miss her. I still miss Jen as well. Jen passed only like a couple of months after she did. So yeah, this that this is my last um, unboxing. Again, I will be doing an eBay haul, which will be in parts soon. I don't know when, but I really do need to do that soon because. It's been it's it's twenty twenty now, and I made that this purchase about between three months in August. So yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then in my next video. Bye.